Unreal, so welcome to new Unreal's Master video. This is a new Unreal editing video. This is part 9. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a skybox. So, what we're going to do is start up Unreal Editor. Let's say, for instance, you've created a map. It's just a small room, it doesn't really matter. And you would like to see some sky. Well, it's not hard to make. Oh, let's put that back to 16. Uh, what you wanted to do is, I'm going to do this in this map. Um, just cut out the place where you want your skybox to be. I don't recommend using the whole ceiling for it because it looks kind of well. It, it it looks really really bad. You don't want to get into that. So we're gonna make it, let's say, 96 pixels high. Oh yeah, 256 by 256, for instance. Going to place it on top of the map, like so. I'm gonna cut it out. The texture you choose for it doesn't matter. The skybox itself determines that. Let's let's try to center this out a bit. Uh, that's about right. Ah oh well. So, what we're going to do next is to create, outside of the map, we're going to create another cube. Make it as large as you want it to be. I'll make it 512 by 1024 by 1024. Place it somewhere out of sight of the map, on top of it, next to it. Um, that doesn't really matter, as long as you, as it doesn't interfere with your editing. All right, let's put it here and extract it. What we're going to do next is choose textures we want to see in our skybox. The ground doesn't matter because we're going to look up. But these others are it actually do matter. So what we're gonna do next is go to open a package called Gen Fluid. Click on the arrows until you see the skies. Here are the nice skies. For the top part I'm going to choose these clouds. Well uh, let's choose these damn scout the damn clouds. Also for the other ones, I think I picked clouds. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Gonna make that one black. So, what I'm going to do next is, just for the effect, I'm going to make, uh, let's see, 24 by 24, uh, a small sheet between the upper deck, between the upper one. And I'm going to select, let's see, yeah, th this is a nice one here, the blue sky. Let's go blue sky. And edit. What we're going to do next is, we're going to shift, uh, shift V it. I mean shift B, sorry. Go to service properties. I'm going to make it translucent. This will have a very nice effect on our map. Now we're going to select everything again, except the sides. I don't really want to see those. Now we're going to surface properties again. We're going to put them to small wavy. This has a very nice effect. Then the next step, go to your actor browser, then go to info, zone info, and click a sky zone info. Alright, go to your 2D window, 
this is just a bit of trial and error you don't want to see the sides in the corners of it I'm going to place it about there I think yeah it should do it also make another zone info actor and place that one No, that's not necessary. <laughs> Forget that part. Or thinking uh, in another way. So what we're going to do next is we're going to select all these surfaces again, surface properties, and then click unlit. We don't want to get into lighting this shit up. Then we go back to our map, select all the top surfaces here in the holes. Go to the properties and click on fake backdrop. Check that. Then rebuild all. I'm going to start fraps here to show you how it looks after what we just did. There we go. No, we don't want that. Let's minimize it. Yeah. So, and save your map, and then just click on play. So here we are in our map now. As you can see, it's uh, it's moving pretty nicely. Let's see how it looks from down here. So now you've got a moving sky. But I'm not really satisfied with it just yet. And we're back at the editor. Well, there's an easy fix for this. It's just simply move it out of the way just a bit more. Then rebuild your map, resave, and replay. And now we're back in game. This looks a lot better. Well, I'm actually not satisfied with this uh, particular uh, texture, but you know. That's not really what this video is all about. But uh, it seems to look uh, pretty much okay. So that's basically it for making a, a skybox for your Unreal Editor, for your Unreal Tournament map. Uh, as you can see, it was pretty much, it was pretty easy, but you know, it's really trial and error. How do you really want to make it look, you know? Oh well. So it was how to make a skybox, Unreal Editor 2.0 tutorial part 9. Thank you for watching, and please comment and rate.